Welcome everyone. Today we are going to learn how to simulate equilibrium reactor in DW sim. In the end of this tutorial, you will be able to define equilibrium reaction and you will able how to uh, find equilibrium conversion of a reaction. So let's move to the problem statement that we are going to solve today. So it's related to the butyl acetate production. You can see uh, here is a chemical uh, reaction. Uh, methyl acetate reacts with butanol and produce uh, methanol and butyl acetate. Uh, here are the feed conditions. Uh, feed that is consist of methyl acetate 300 kmol per hour and butanol 200 kilo mol per hour at a pressure of 5 bar and 30 degrees C entered into a equilibrium reactor that operates at a constant temperature it means isothermal mode without any pressure drop so the delta P uh, inside the reactor we are assuming it's zero and we have to find uh, product mo molar flow rate that is the butyl acetate and the equilibrium conversion of the base component that is the uh, butanol so let's move to the dw sim software to solve this problem okay so the first step is we have to define components which are involved in the simulation so the one is uh, methanol then butanol and then methyl acetate and finally butyl acetate okay so all the components which are involved have been selected methanol one butanol methyl acetate and normal butyl acetate then press next and select uh, ping robinson as a property package double click on it again go to next and select system of unit here i am going to take c5 and then press finish okay so now we have to build or construct flow sheet for this problem so the first thing let's define a material stream that is actually a feed stream uh, right click on it and change its name to feed press enter and change the flash spec from input data should be temperature and pressure and the temperature is 30 degrees C and uh, the pressure is uh, 5 bar okay and then go to the compound amounts and from bases instead of taking mole fraction take mole flows and uh, uh, methanol so the reactants are methyl acetate and butanol okay so methyl acetate that is 300 and uh, butanol was 200 and uh, methanol is the product and butyl acetate is product so there is nothing and then uh, accept changes go to stream condition so the feed stream is fully specified next step is we have to define equilibrium react uh, reaction condition for that go to this setting tab click on it and from here go to the reactions and from reaction 
click on this plus button and then select equilibrium and now methanol butanol methyl acetate normal butyl acetate because all of them are participating in chemical reactions now what is the base component so the base component is here butanol and uh, butanol is also uh, a reactant so minus one is uh, stoichiometric coefficient and methyl acetate is also uh, the reactor uh, reactant methanol is product and normal butyl acetate is also product then press enter and now you can see here in stoichiometry that it's saying it's okay then equilibrium reaction parameter so the bases are fugosity that is okay phase is liquid that is also okay because this reaction is happening in liquid phase now the equilibrium constant so uh, equilibrium constant uh, can be uh, calculated in three different ways number one is it's calculate from the gives energy uh, uh, gives energy of a reaction number two you can define uh, in terms of temperature where the uh, uh, the equilibrium constant is, uh, is a function of temperature and also if you have a constant value of a equilibrium constant then you simply just add uh, value here so there are three different ways to define equilibrium constant so in our case we do not have any information regarding equilibrium constant of this reaction so we are going with the first option that it will calculate uh, from gives energy of a reaction after defining this one uh, just press ok now the reaction uh, set is defined close this window go to the reactors and select equilibrium reactor and place it into the flow sheet then click on it and uh, from connection connect the feed as an inlet and produce outlet streams and one energy stream okay so uh, okay now just change the stream name so the uh, material stream 2 is actually vapor product press enter and material stream 3 is product uh, sorry liquid product after that go to the reaction tab and from calculation parameters uh, calculation mode just select isothermic because this reaction uh, is happening at uh, isothermic condition so after defining it uh, go to the solver click on it or uh, simply uh, press F5 and now your flow sheet is being uh, uh, calculated and here it's already converged and simulated again just click on this reactor okay and then from this tab go to the results from results uh, go to the conversion so the equilibrium conversion at the given condition of uh, butanol is 57.29% so uh, this is the equilibrium conversion and uh, what is the uh, uh, molar flow rate of uh, butyl acetate for that just click on this uh, liquid product go to results and from results take basis as a mole flow and here you have the molar flow rate of uh, butyl acetate that is 114 kilomole per hour so these are the two parameters that was asked uh, in the problem statement that are here so equilibrium conversion of butanol and uh, production of butyl acid.
so that's all for this tutorial in next tutorial we will we'll learn how to simulate a conversion reactor in dwc uh, so stay tuned for upcoming videos and uh, if you like my content and uh, if you feel that they are useful for you please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel so see you in next video bye bye